Have you ever been on an antidepressant that seemed to simply stop working? Well, this is a common phenomenon that we're going to explore in this video, what it is, why we think it happens, and what you can do to identify it before it becomes a bigger problem. How's it going guys? This is Chris with HealthyConsumer.com, back with another Mental Health Mondays. Mental Health Mondays is where we talk about stress, depression, anxiety, and everything related to those subjects. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video again. Antidepressants are one of the most common prescribed drugs in the world, particularly in the United States, with up to 13% of the US population being on an antidepressant at any given time. So with so many people on these drugs for the long term, using it to help cope with their depression, what is happening in the long term? Well, there's an interesting phenomenon known as tachyphylaxis, or sometimes called the poop out response, where these drugs that you've been on for several years simply stop working. And this happens up to 18% of people prescribed antidepressants. If you think about 13% of the US population, and then 18% of that, that's a lot of people. The question is, why does this happen? So if people are getting benefit from these antidepressants and then they simply stop working, what is happening there and why is this happening? There are four theories on why this may be happening. First is absorption. So is our body changing the way that we absorb the drug? Are we absorbing it quicker? Which certainly has an effect on the dosaging of the drug. So sometimes this can be countered by adjusting dosage, but other times that doesn't seem to help. Distribution of the drug is number two. Are we changing the way that we distribute the drug throughout our body? And this is another working theory. Third is biotransformation. So our body is finding ways to manipulate the drug and change it into something so it's not as effective in an active form. Lastly could be elimination. So are we eliminating this drug quicker? Has our body found a way to eliminate the drug through the route that the drug is eliminated? This seems to be a problem particularly with SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. One of the most common drugs is Prozac and that's where it got the name poop out response was the Prozac poop out response, but I've seen it happen to other drugs as well for people that have been on antidepressants for a long period of time. If you're currently taking antidepressants, it's incredibly important that you recognize this sooner versus later. Some of the symptoms of that would be worsening depression despite no changes in your medication or changes in your exercise or other lifestyle habits, feelings of hopelessness, despair, increased irritability, basically the symptoms of depression, but everything is worsening. Personally, I did not find antidepressants to be helpful in my own case, but there certainly are times where they're necessary for people. What I did find most helpful for my depression was changing the way that I think, going through cognitive behavioral therapy, learning how to clean up my diet, exercise, and all those lifestyle components that we talk about here on this channel. And I've taken all those different components that I've learned, all the different lifestyle factors over the years, and I've put it in our course online at healthyconsumer.com. So if you're struggling with depression and you'd like to learn how to better management, check out our online course in the description below. I hope this was helpful, guys. This has been another episode of Mental Health Mondays. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video. I look forward to seeing you next Monday.